Today we're going to talk about building your worm farm and I'm going to tell you the items that you will need um, in the order of, of how we'll be placing them in the bedding. We're going to start with about a 15 gallon Rubbermaid of some sort that is dark in color, won't let any light in. It needs to have air ventilations in it of some sort but that aren't too large for the worms to get through. Uh, I've read where some people lay um, damp burlap over their entire worm bin, just let that keep the worms in. And then you need to have some drainage holes at the bottom in case moisture starts to collect because you don't want to drown your worms. Um, and we also have some air vents here. So that's where we're going to start. And then for the bedding, we're going to have shredded newspaper or, glass, or grass clippings. And then peat moss that I've been treating with coffee grounds for a couple of days. Um, normally you would want to use some sort of horse manure, uh, but I live in the city and I don't have access to that. So I take peat moss and I treat it with coffee grounds for a couple of days prior to putting it in my bedding, and they seem to like that. Then we're going to add our worms. This is all my old worms. This is a changeover. And then we're going to add about a week's worth of table scraps, and then we'll top that with peat moss to combat any uh, off-gassing or, or odors that could occur. So it's very simple. We're just going to start by laying our bedding. And now if you're ordering worms and this is your first time to start a worm farm, you're going to want to get about four ounces of worms. Um, so about a quarter of a pound. And these aren't earthworms. These are red wigglers. They're different. They're surface feeders. And um, it's not the same thing as your traditional earthworm, although they do look similar. These guys like to live in in compost and things that are decomposing. And that's why they work so fabulously for, for creating compost in your home. So we have our grass clippings or, or newspaper. And then next we're going to lay our, our coffee treated peat moss or just regular peat moss would work. I also have a friend who started her worm farm with just newspapers um, and table scraps. You can do it that way as well. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm introducing an already developed community, so it's a higher population than you would be purchasing, so I feel like I need to give them a little more of a, of a boost to start with. So we're going to add our peat moss here. Let's create a nice little bed. You want it to be about 8 to 12 inches in depth. Because once again, these are surface feeders. And um, we've got our red wigglers. And if you're purchasing these online, you want about at least 4 ounces. A um, quarter of a pound of, of pit run worms. Pit run worms just means that you have all the stages of development of your worms from egg all the way to adulthood. Look at all those guys. They're so excited. You have all the stages of development of your worms and so it's a great way to start your community. Pit run worms. So we've got that. And then we're going to lay our gross table scraps on top here. Kind of like that. And then, looks like about eight inches deep, perhaps. And then I'm going to top all of that with peat moss to combat any off gassing or odors that could occur. And then, from then on, I will just feed my worms all of, of my compost, excluding any citrus, dairy, or meat. And whenever I do place um, food into the worm bin, here's how I do it. I just place my scraps in there all day long, just throw them in. And in the evening, you want to take a new piece of newspaper and just tuck it around the entire top of your worm, worm uh, bin so that you're covering all of the uh, scraps that you've put in there and it'll keep other pests out and it'll keep any odors from, from escaping. That simple. You build it just like that, and then I'm going to place this under my kitchen sink. It doesn't emit any odors, or it's very simple. I'll feed it all of my compost for a four-person family. So it's been really, really great to have. It's a good idea.